Hi, I'm Nick Jager, and I'm here today to show you how to make lighted wine bottles. I have today a drill, four different sized drill bits that drill glass. There's specific bits for glass. I have the lights, a glue gun, and of course an empty bottle with some crystal fill as well as some safety glasses. When you're ready, we'll get started. All right, I've put in my smallest uh, glass drill bit inside the drill. As you can see, they progressively get larger. What I will do is drill my first hole with the smallest, kind of a pilot, and just work my way up to the biggest one. I won't drill all the way through with this, but I'll get pretty close and that'll allow me to put the lights inside the bottle. Here I have my bottle laid out and I'm going to take one of my drill bits and a rubber mallet. I'm going to find the spot where I want to start the hole. Now I'm going to go a little bit below the label and I'm using this middle label number here as my guide to kind of center it underneath it. And I'm just going to give it a quick strike. That little notch will allow me to put my drill bit and start the drill drilling process. Without that, you're going to find that your drill bit will slide all over the glass. This uh, helps getting you started and we'll work from there. So, with the safety glasses on and our smallest drill bit, we'll begin drilling. You want a slow, steady speed. So I kind of pull the trigger in just a hair to get it to go. Nice, steady drill. We've broken through the glass now. And as you can see, not going to see it, all right. Once you're through, things start to pick up speed-wise. Again, I'm keeping a constant slow speed. I'm not putting much pressure on this. If you feel it start to chatter, you want to slow up a bit too. You don't want the glass to, to get too jagged. You'll break it for sure. There, we're through with the first drill bit now. And I'm going to move up to our next side. Now that the first hole is through, the next drill bits will go a little faster for you. Just gonna clean that off a little bit. As you can see, the first one went through gave us a nice perfect hole. Now we're ready to go and try our second size. And there we're through with the second drill bit. Moving on up to our third. That went a lot faster than the first one. You just got to be a little patient with that one. And everything that follows just goes that much easier. There, we've had our drill bit go through. And now we're going to move on to our last one. Now, the last one is bigger than what it needs to be. So we're not going to go all the way through with this one. We're only going to give ourselves enough room to put those lights through. All right. We've gone in a little ways with the larger drill bit, and now we're going to make sure that our hole is big enough. We're going to take our light, lights out, and just kind of give it a trial run. If you find the end, the first one usually goes through pretty easy. But the true test is the second one, 
which has to have both the cords go along with it. So we're going to see right now if I have a big enough area for that to go through. I think we're going to need a little bit more room to let that manure through. So I'm going to drill some more on this. <laughs> All right, we're going to try this one more time. Let's see if our hole is big enough now. Again, the first one goes through fairly easy. Now we're going to try our second one with both the cords up by it. And it's through. I'm not going to push it all the way through because I'm going to clean up the bottle now before I put the lights in. So, all right, we've cleaned up our bottle now and we have all the dust and such off. We have our hole that's the size to fit our lights in. Take your string of lights and one thing I always like to do before I get too far into this is make sure that they work. So I'm just going to plug these in quick. No use going through all that work only to find out that the lights don't go on. All right, we got a functional set of lights, so we're ready to go into the bottle with these. The first one slides in fairly well, and then the second one, you'll want to align the cords just such, so you can push it right through. All right, we're up to our last one. for the hot glue. At this point, this is a completed bottle. Um, you may have seen uh, some of these in craft and hobby shows, craft fairs, where uh, it is just the lights inside the bottle and uh, this would be a done product. But uh, I take it a step further and I put crystal fill in it. So in order for it not to come out the bottom, I'm going to use a little hot glue down here at the bottom in and around the cord to kind of plug the hole. All right, now that our glue's dried, I'm just going to take this excess off here. That takes care of the back. Now we're ready to put in the crystal fill. Uh, the crystal fill is an option that I use and uh, again, it isn't necessary, but uh, we're open to other suggestions that you might want to incorporate with uh, your bottle. Um, we've been toying with the idea of Christmas tinsel and putting that in as well. There you have it. And we'll put our cork in. And that is a finished product. Well, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to leave one on the video site here or at uh, www.jaggerfoods.com. This is Nick Jagger, and thank you.